What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff Kilgore, and you've reached Bag of Goodies, where we deal with business and mind all intertwined. And today, I'm going to show you five powerful ways that you can reprogram your subconscious mind. Let's do it. How's everybody doing? Again, you've reached Jeff Kilgore, and like I said, we're going to show you five powerful ways to reprogram your subconscious mind. We're going to get right into it. No fluff or filler. Let's just do it. Get right into it. How about number one? Number one, repetition. Now, this is the most common one. Um, it can be the most easiest one, um, the most practical one. And the reason I say that is because it's simply doing something over and over and over and over and over until at some point your subconscious mind uh, gets the point and just kind of, okay, that's what he wants. Okay, that's what she wants. Okay, this is what that looks like. Okay, these are the habits that, that he needs to do every day repetitiously in order to make that happen. So your subconscious mind, once, uh, once it received that repetitious command and it's receiving a command over and over and over, you begin to drill it into your subconscious mind. Um, it, not just repetitiously because you have to have feeling, you have to have emotions, you have to believe um, what it is that you're drilling into your subconscious mind. But once you do that and your subconscious mind clicks in, um, something happens that your subconscious mind is now on uh, track with your conscious mind. So your conscious mind, that's the one we use all day, every day. That's the one that we think we're controlling our lives with, but we're, we're really not. That only controls 5% of your everyday habits. Your subconscious mind controls 95% of your everyday habits. So that's who is running the show. Subconscious is king or queen. However, that's who's running the show. So when you reprogram your subconscious mind, uh, you're able to change basically your everyday habits. Now, if you change your everyday habits, your life will change. But repetition, uh, I say practical because anyone can do this. You can change um, a habit that you do every day. And after you do it for so often, uh, you're, you're, the results will begin to change. In other words, if you have a, a, a goal, even if you don't have a goal of losing weight, if you get up and you exercise every morning, every morning, even if it's something small, if you take a walk around your block every morning, every morning, every morning, remember repetition over, over, over. But if you take a walk every morning, you'll start to uh, reap the benefits of that habit that you've, that you've created. So you're gonna start to lose weight. You're, start, you're gonna start to be a bit healthier. Your cardi cardiovascular system is gonna improve. Those are the results of that repetitious habit. But what also takes place is your subconscious mind begins to um, believe that, hey, we, we take a walk every morning. So if you get into a situation where you're not able to take that walk, your subconscious mind uh, is like, what's going on? And so you'll, you'll feel weird. You'll feel like, man, something is missing. It's because you didn't take your walk, because that's your program. And when you deviate from that program, your subconscious mind um, does any and everything it can to either remind you or does something to get you back on track so you remember, oh, I got to take that walk. This works for every area of your life. I use the example of taking a walk. However, it can be used for anything, including money. So whatever your goals are, in regards to money, you, you need to come up with um, steps, things, you know, tasks that you can do that'll get you closer to that goal. And every day, do something, even if it's a small something. You know, we, we like to jump to a 100%, and I want to do 100% of that goal, even if you just did 1%, 2%. Of that goal today think of something you can do today is it make a phone call is it send an email whatever it is do that and then tomorrow do something else and before you know it you will have reached your goal and your subconscious mind will have been changed because every day we do something to 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 um, get closer to our goals and that's how you change your subconscious mind with repetition 
um, much more, um, it, it gets much more deeper in regards to rep repetition. However, that's the gist of it. Number two, hypnosis. Now, I know hypnosis, you know, nobody wants to, you know, be programmed walking around like a zombie or whatever. However, um, hypnosis is not, not at all what most people think it is. Uh, basically, you get into um, a, a deep, calm state. And the, the, if you're not a professional, if you don't have experience in hypnotism, you're not going to know how to hypnotize yourself. And so, nor would you want to. Um, there are programs, there are many programs um, where you can put in headphones and as you're going to sleep, um, uh, even e even if you're not you know going to sleep, but you can put in headphones um, and begin um, your subconscious mind begins to ingest and begins to receive the the commands um, while you're you're you know in a hypnotic state. Now there is so much more information on that, um, and we'll go deep definitely go deeper into that. I'll have some information for you. Um, if you if you're curious, you want more information on that. Um, Put it down in the comments. Let me know, um, and I, I'll definitely give you more information on that. And we can get we can get deep in that. If that's something you guys would like to um, uh, explore or dive deeper into, we can definitely do that. Number three, meditation. And you're like, okay, hypnosis, meditation. Is that the same thing? No, it's not. Now, meditation, uh, a little a, a little bit more simple. Um, what you want to do in regards to meditation, because what it is, you're you're lowering your frequency, you're lowering your vibration, and what you're doing when you when you're meditating, you're calming yourself, you're calming your nerves, you're calming your body, you are taking control of yourself um, for once, and you're telling your body, no, stay, almost like a pet, no, you're gonna stay right here. I know you want to go check your email. I know that you want to check. Uh, your Facebook notifications, your Instagram DMs, your Twitter, everything. You, we're, we're so programmed to do that. Now, we you want to check all of that. When you meditate, you're cutting all of that off. You're getting into a deep med meditative state. You're lowering your frequency and you're allowing yourself to, to think about what it is that you actually feel, what it is that you actually want. And this is a way that you can change reprogram your subconscious mind because when you're in that deep meditative state your 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 body frequency um, begins to get on what's called theta during this time your subconscious mind uh, is open and can receive commands directly that's why uh, it's always good to listen to subliminal information while you're falling asleep because that 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 brief period when you're about to fall asleep that's the time that your subconscious mind is open and and able to receive direct input so that's another that's another key um, when you when you're about to fall asleep start to imagine what you want start to think about what you want because you're you're in that theta vibration that theta frequency and all of that outer noise, those voices in your head, they're calmed at that point and you're able to receive, you're able to, to think about all the good that you want. This programs your subconscious mind a lot faster. Number four, change of environment. Now, this is a, look, this is a bit tricky, um, but very powerful change of environment. Now, you may not be able to up and move to a different state country, city, you may not be able to up and move to a different neighborhood. However, uh, sometimes a change of environment can be everything. You can change the people that you allow into your space. You can change the um, venues and events that you attend. You can change where you go every day and who you spend that time with. Toxic people will create toxic behaviors in your life, even if you um, are not initiating those behaviors. But when you surround yourself with those things, uh, eventually you'll begin to become those things. So if you change your environment to like-minded individuals, positive individuals, people that are going in the direction that you want to go in, people that are already in the places that you want to be in, surround yourself with people that are doing what you want to do. 
for, for, for many reasons other than that. But when you surround yourself with, with different individuals, you're changing your environment. When you change your environment, again, going back to repetition, you're doing this over and over, your subconscious mind uh, begins to believe, okay, this is the surrounding that, that we're comfortable in. These are the people we're comfortable around. These are the tasks that we're comfortable doing. So let's make that happen more often. And so your subconscious mind begins to change your beliefs in that way, change your habits in that way. And by you changing your environment and you do that over and over, you, you continuously keep those individuals, continuously keep those places in your life then you begin to change your environment. You begin to change your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind, once it kicks in, it's like magic. It's, it's, it's hard to explain, but once it kicks in, it's like everything, your eyes are open and it just flows. Number five, obsession. And you're like, what? Obsession? Yes, obsession. What I mean by that is become obsessed. Whatever, it, whatever your goal is, whatever it is that you want out of life, whatever it is, become obsessed with it. Now, how will this reprogram your subconscious mind? The number one reason that obsession will reprogram your subconscious mind is because when you're obsessed with something, you are passionate about it. And when you're passionate about something, you're expressing many, many feelings. Your vibration is high. When you think about it, you get goosebumps. You get you get excited. Your your heart flutters. It's like you know when you get that first kiss when you're when you're a kid and you you know that girl or whatever. But you get butterflies in your stomach. You're excited about it every time you think about that this this thing this goal. It, it, it lights up your, your eyes. It lights up your heart. You're obsessed with it. The reason that this is so effective is because your subconscious mind reacts to feelings um, faster than anything. And so when you visualize what it is that you want and you think about what it is you want often and you're obsessed with it, then that passion shows through and your subconscious mind is like, wow, I want more of that because that released endorphins when, when, when he got so excited about that thing that he's thinking about, it made us feel good. Your subconscious mind wants more of that. And so it begins to, to think, how can I make that happen again? And so again, it'll change your habits. It'll have you start thinking of ideas. How can I do that every day? And you'll, you'll do something every day to get closer to your goals. But obsession, become obsessed, whatever it is. It, it, if, it, if it's a money goal, yes, you can become obsessed with a money goal. Now, do you want to make money your God? No. Do you want to make money your idol? Do you want to worship money? No. We don't worship, we don't need to worship money. However, life becomes more accessible and you're able to do more good in the world when you do have money. So we're not against uh, money at all. As a matter of fact, we want more money so that we can use it to bless the world. We can use it to get the message out to more and more people. And so, um, yes, you can become obsessed with a money goal. You can become obsessed with finding that soulmate. You can become obsessed with a dream job. You can become obsessed with your dream car, your dream house, a dream vacation, anything. But the passion, the, the passion that, that comes along with being obsessed is what triggers your subconscious mind and you begin to reprogram that as well. That was number five. Let me know in the comments if you can think of any other ways. If you have any other ways, I'm always open to learn, always open to hear your opinions. I so, so appreciate you taking this time to spend with me. Um, on our next video, we're going to get into seven things that your subconscious mind definitely is controlling in your life that you may not be aware of it including your ability to earn money. Yes, your ability to earn money. So tune in um, and we'll, we'll definitely get into uh, a few more things a little bit deeper, but I appreciate you. Thanks again. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff that the YouTubers say. Last time I, I, I made a I made a comment about squeezing the like button. So if you could squeeze that like button, that would be great for me. I really appreciate you.